Here's a neat little trick for you guys working with plexiglass at home. You can do this very easily. First, what you do is you take apart a, an, a hair dryer and you get some the heater element out of it. And then you get a piece of aluminum U-channel. I actually saw Monty's U-channel as he came in. I go, oh boy, can I use a piece of that? I, I want to show how to bend plexiglass. You take some plaster of Paris or other non-flammable, non-conducting material and you put it down into the, the groove. And you, you want to have the heater element be below the, the surface of this U-channel and insulated from the metal. So we just made a linear heater. And you, as you can see here, there's a huge burn mark from uh, uh, a bit ago where I <laughs> ran this. So it should be a metal table or something uh, fairly non-flammable. Non and you build up spacers. You can have multiples of these running at the same time. You can build up some spacers and you set the plexiglass with the protective cover off, by the way. Um, I tried once, it doesn't work. Um, you lay this down on there. Um, you run it through your your uh, adjustable power supply so you can control the heat and you start heating a very thin line along the plexiglass and pretty soon it'll get tacky and you can just bend it. Uh, it bends like taffy and it's workable for um, a minute probably after you heat this line and you can make nice angled bends in your plexiglass and have a nice um, corner. Um, here's what happens if you don't heat it all the way through nice and even. You'll end up getting breaks where it's not heated enough if you start crying on it. But this is, this is a great way for the hobbyist to make plexiglass boxes without having to glue together a bunch of joints.